This condenser fan blower motor is installed in the mini split air conditioner outdoor unit, which is faulty. I could not find this same blower motor in the local market, so I will modify this blower motor, which I found in the market, to replace it with the faulty one. This is a two-speed motor. You can see that the size of the blower motor is different from that of the original motor. This old blower motor is operated on 240 volts. The power rating of the blower motor is 85 watts. It consumes 0.73 amperes. A 4 microfarad and 4 50 volt capacitors is used in it. This motor is a single speed motor. This motor works on 220 volts, 50 hertz. It consumes 0.62 amperes. The power rating is not mentioned on this blower motor. I guessed its power through its amperes, which are almost identical. A 6 microfarad and a 370 volt capacitor will be used with this blower motor. The difference is in the size of the motor. I will also modify the circuit board of this unit. I have disassembled this blower motor because I was curious about the reason that this old motor works but does not rotate at full speed. If I see its rotor, it is immaculate. The bearings are also fine. It has no issue. The motor's winding is also okay. A thermostat is installed here. It is also fine. I could not see any problem with the motor's winding. I will do two tests on it. If both of those tests are successful, I will install this blower motor back in the air conditioner. I have made its connection. This orange colored wire is the common wire. The blue is the neutral wire. I have attached the brown wire with the speed wire of the motor, which is the black wire. I will power it on. The shaft of the motor is rotating slowly. It does not rotate with a good torque, which is required. I will now do the second test. In the first method, I used a 3.5 microfarad capacitor. But now I will use a 7.5 microfarad capacitor, which is almost double. Let's see, increasing the value of the capacitor makes a difference in the torque of the motor. I have attached one capacitor wire to the orange wire. The second wire of the capacitor is with the blue wire. I will attach the neutral wire with the blue wire as well. This is how the connection has been completed. I will power it on. And let's see if there is any difference in the torque of this motor. No, there is no difference in the torque and the rotation speed of the shaft. Rather, it has started to rotate even more slowly. This means the starting coil of this motor has become weak. So, I will modify the other motor to replace it with this motor. The first difference is that this motor has three holes for attaching it to the condenser bracket. This motor has four holes in it. I have made new holes in the condenser bracket according to this motor. Let me show you another thing by installing it in the air conditioner. The size of both the motor's shafts is the same, but the length of this motor shaft is more. This motor is also bigger. I have attached it from the front of the condenser plate. If I put this motor from the backside of the condenser plate, the length of the shaft could be decreased. However, the problem in doing this is that it decreases the gap between the condenser and the motor from the back, which could heat the motor. I will leave this gap between the motor and the condenser to let the condenser and the motor stay cool. I am also facing another problem here. Let me show that by installing the fan blades on the motor. You can see that the fan blades are coming out of the air conditioner. I can't fit the cover of the air conditioner. If the cover is not installed, the unit will work, but not look good. Now I will show you the solution to it. I have calculated the shaft length of this motor. The shaft of this motor is 5 cm longer than the old motor. So, I will have to reduce the length of this shaft to 5 cm. To decrease the length of the shaft of this blower motor, I will remove the rotor from this motor. You can see these locks on this motor. I will remove these four locks on the motor. You can see I changed the position of these locks upward. I did the same with the rest of the locks. I have removed the rotor from this motor. Now, it will be much easier to shorten the length of the rotor shaft. Now, let me tell you how to shorten the length of its shaft. Now I have come to my friend's lathe machine shop. Whenever mechanical work is required, I come to his shop to do it. I am taking the size of the shaft through the vernier caliper. I will cut the 5 cm length from the shaft. Rest watch the process on the lathe machine.
In the original motor, this area of the shaft is flat. I will flat this area in this shaft as well. Now you can see that I have installed the fan blades in the shaft. I will now make a little modification to the circuit board. I can do two things here. I can make the modification inside the circuit board. Second, I can change the wires without modifying the circuit board. So, I will use the second method, which is much easier. How will I change the wire connection? Let me explain to you. C, N, L, and H are written on the connector of the blower motor. This new blower motor has three wires. The orange and black wires are the main power wires for the blower motor. The black wire is the phase, and the orange is the neutral wire. It will also be connected to the capacitor. The yellow wire will also be connected to the capacitor. Let me show you how I will connect three wires in this four-wired blower motor connector. As I told you, these connections can be made using two methods. The new motor has yellow, orange and black wires. Rather, these are common, neutral, low, and high. The yellow wire in the new motor is the starting wire. The orange is the running wire. The black is the common wire. Now I have to connect them. Let me explain how. The yellow wire is the capacitor wire. The capacitor is already installed with the common pin. I will join the yellow wire with the common pin of the connector. The capacitor wire will also be attached to the common pin. The orange wire will be directly attached to the neutral pin. Both these wires are connected to the capacitor on the circuit board. The black wire is common for the new motor. This common wire will be joined to both these high and low motor pins because if we attach this common wire with any single pin, the blower will work at low speed. But as the relay will turn on the high speed, the motor will stop working. This is why we will have to join these points together. The blower motor will keep working whether the electricity is passed through the low or high pin. I will join these two wires together, but if the low and high pins are joined in the circuit board from the bottom, no one will get to know that these wires are joined together in this way. I have powered on the unit, and it is consuming 11.2 amperes. The air conditioner is set to 16 degrees. The compressor is working in full motion. It has been quite a while since it is working. No error is shown in it now. The fan motor is rotating at a good speed now. These are the wiring connections, these are the same connections I told you through the diagram. The fan blower motor has been fixed now. I am tired now, and I run on coffee. So buy it for me on Patreon. Click the link on the screen to visit. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.